in this video I'm gonna go over uh, the force due to linear charge distribution of charges and uh, let's say we have a wire over here and its length is L and on which on this wire charge Q is distributed uniformly so charge Q is distributed uniformly on this wire of length L and then we have a charge Q naught we gonna call it test charge over here and we're gonna calculate the force on this charge Q naught due to this linear distribution of charges and let's say the distance um, for that we're gonna use a linear charge density formula which is uh, lambda is equal to dq over dl and if you like to learn more watch my previous video and i, I made a video over uh, the continuous charge distribution that's where i talk about linear charge density surface charge density and uh, volume charge density so let's say uh, we, we're gonna take this small element of length DL on the wire and charge on this element of length DL is going to be DQ okay so first of all let me write down the electrostatic force or Coulomb's force from Coulomb law which is basically F is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught and if total charge is Q and this charge is Q naught I'm just writing the general formula for electrostatic force from Coulomb's law it's going to be R square and the direction is along this side so I'm gonna say unit vector R okay so what we're gonna do over here from this linear charge density we're gonna find dq is going to be equal to lambda dl so we are talking about this line element dl first of all and have a charge dq so we're going to write the formula for force due to this charge dq on this charge q naught so we are not talking about charge q like whole charge right now we'll get get that point in a moment so instead of f I'm gonna call this force df and this is going to be equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught instead of q is going to be dq and the force on charge q naught we are calculating and the second charge is q naught over r square into r cap now we're gonna replace this dq with lambda dl so that gives me df is equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught uh, dq is going to be lambda dl q naught over r square into r cap so now the total force so this this is the force due to this charge uh, the line element dl having charge dq on this charge q naught so that if we want to find the force due to this total charge on this line on charge q naught we can write it like this so going to be f then we're gonna put the integration sign to the df so that will calculate the total force on this line element so add up all the force on this charge q naught due to this total charge q that's where we bring the integration so we are calculating the charge on the whole wire and the whole wire is here and the or the line let's say and the length is l so we're gonna do the integration over length l the whole length okay so it's going to be equal to 1 over 4 pi epsilon naught dq q naught over r square or we can 
say dq is basically lambda dl and r cap or the force can be written as so we're going to take out constants out of the integration so the force f can be written as f is going to be equal to q naught and 4 pi epsilon naught in the bottom the denominator and inside the integration we left with so integration over the length l is going to be lambda over r square dl because that's our variable the length and unit vector r cap that will represent the direction of the force so this is the formula for uh, the force due to this linear charge distribution on charge q naught uh, and the distance between these two is r as i wrote it over here so let's say vector r so we can calculate the force due to any it, it can be a circular ring you can use the same formula for circular ring the linear charge distribution on a ring so the only thing you need to know you need to know uh, the length and uh, linear charge density and the distance between the test charge and the linear charge distribution all right the next video is going to be the same thing but it's going to be the charge is going to be distributed on a surface and then we're gonna do uh, the force due to uh, volume you know the volume distribution of charge the charge is distributed um, inside a shape it can be a cube or a, a sphere it can be anything all right thanks for watching the video guys and please do share and subscribe to my channel that helps me to uh, make more videos motivate me to make more videos thank you have a good day bye bye